Hi, I'm Nick Coons here with the Red7 YouTube channel. And in a previous video, I was talking about increasing the performance of your computer. And one of the things that came up was the idea that you might be low on hard drive space. Because if, you, if your hard drive is more than 80% full, if you've got less than 20% free space, that will slow your computer down on a Windows system. Uh, the way the NTFS uh, file system works, which is what Windows uses, uh, it starts to run slower uh, after you have less than 20% free space, defragging isn't very functional, and if you are running out of space, then you want to catch it sooner rather than later, because if it happens uh, at a time where it's inconvenient, you no longer can really use your computer for anything because you have no space left. So you want to kind of nip that one early, and uh, there are a couple different ways to, to uh, add hard drive space to the system, to increase the hard drive space. Um, and uh, so I kind of want to go over those real quick. Um, the first one is probably the simplest for most people, and that's to add an external hard drive. Uh, USB drives are inexpensive. You can just plug it into a USB port, and you have uh, an extra drive that's hanging off the side. Now, for most tasks, uh, these drives are slower than internal drives. Uh, the drives themselves aren't, but the interface to them is slower, so they'll function slower. Um, but for most tasks, you're not going to notice this. It won't be an issue. Uh, what's your... Um, so this will, this will work in, in most cases. Uh, the downside, of course, is that you then have two drives and you have to maintain data across two drives or you have to you know, move all the data from one drive to the other and you have to remember that it's there or you have to remap your My Documents directory, something that might be, you know, uh, that, that's not too difficult to do, but for most people who aren't familiar with doing it, it can be a little bit of an issue. Um, so you want to make sure that you remap the My Documents directory if you're going to move that content over to the, to the, uh, to the external drive. Um, also, if you have a second drive and uh, it's the same size as your internal drive, you've doubled your space, but if you move all the data from one to the other, you really haven't done a whole lot of anything. And so if you're going to remap my documents and put all your data over there, in the long run, it might not make it any easier for you. You might have to split your data across two drives, and that could be uh, a little bit of an issue. Um, now, the second option is to add an internal drive. It's, it's going to function the same way as an external drive in the sense that you'll have two drives. So you'll have all the complications that you have with maintaining two drives uh, in the sense of having your data scattered in multiple locations. Um, but you, uh, but the drive is going to be internal. It's not going to require its own power source. The drive is going to be a little less expensive because it won't require the casing. And um, it's not going to take up extra desk space. It's part of the computer. So if you're moving the computer or you're rearranging your office, you don't have to have another piece of hardware just kind of dangling off the side. Um, but the best way to do it, um, probably the most expensive way, but ultimately the easiest to manage in the long run, is to replace your internal drive with a larger drive. Now, the downside to that is you can't just take data and move it from one drive to the other, um, you know, taking out the old drive, putting in the new drive, and expecting that the system's going to function, because you also have to move all the programs in the operating systems, and those don't happen just by moving files. You actually have to take an image of the hard drive. You have to have specialized software for that. Um, there's uh, programs like Norton Ghost or Cronus True Image or some command line stuff on the Linux system that'll even, you know, that'll move Windows uh, partitions and drives over. It'll move all the data, including the boot sector and the operating system and the programs and the whole thing. So that's what would have to be done if you were to place the entire drive. Uh, that's something that, uh, if you've done it before, again, isn't one of those things that's, that's too terribly complex if you know what you're doing and you're familiar with the process. Um, so it, uh, you know, it, it, but if you haven't done it, most people, of course, haven't. Uh, it could be a little bit over most people's heads and a little more overwhelming uh, because you've got to open up the computer, uh, temporarily install a new drive, clone everything over, which is you know the term used for imaging everything, uh, and then pull out the old drive, permanently mount the new drive, close the case back up, and hope everything goes well. Uh, once uh, once you do that, of course, everything's good. But you know, if you haven't done it before, it can be overwhelming, and most people don't like. <laughs> fiddling with the inside of their computers. So this is something you'd probably want to take to a professional to have done for you. Um, this, I think, is the best way to go in the long run because when you finish the upgrade of the hard drive, your system is going to be exactly the same as it was before. The only difference is you're going to have a lot more space. So all your data will be where it was. It'll be just from where you, where you remember it, the way you organized it. Nothing will have changed. You'll just have a lot more space. So if you replace your 200 gig drive with a one terabyte drive, you're going to have the exact same system with, with five times more space. So that's preferable. Um, now, the the process, uh, like I said, again, as I said, is, is, is a little overwhelming. It is the most expensive way to go because you're removing your old hard drive. You're not getting the advantage of the space that you have on that drive. 
and you also have a more labor intensive process if you have someone do it for you. Um, the other thing that you want to be careful about is that your computer, you, you want to, this assumes that your computer is already running the way you want it to, that everything's running properly, everything's good, and the only downside is that you don't have enough space. Because as I mentioned, if you clone everything over, it's going to take everything, your computer's going to be just as it was. So the only reason you want your computer to be just as it was is if everything's working properly. If everything's not working properly, and in addition to being low on space, your computer's really slow and bogged down, or maybe it has some infections or some damage has been done, um, at that point, it might be best to install the new drive, uh, install, reinstall the operating system, and then copy all the data over from the new drive. And of course, you'll have to reinstall the programs. This will be essentially like you would uh, the same process you would go through if you were recovering your machine for backup. Um, and uh, so that's a, that's a good way to go if the drive's not running, pro or the, the, the computer's not running properly, because not only are you going to get the uh, added benefit of having a lot more space and the performance increase of having much more than 20% free space, but you're also going to have your system running like it was new again, because Windows will be freshly installed without all the problems copied over. So a couple of different things to consider when you're replacing your hard drive or upgrading your hard drive or looking at getting some more space. Um, now, if you're looking for someone to do that for you, of course, I obviously would recommend Red 7. Uh, we do that pretty regularly. We do a really good job with it. And we can service anybody here in the Phoenix metro area. You can call our, our main location at 602-296-1200. That's Tempe. You can call our Mesa store at 480-461-5088. And, uh, of course, either store, bring your machine into it. Let them know what's going on. We can get it taken care of for you. Um, as always, don't forget to sign up for our Facebook fan page. We do uh, pretty regularly post uh, discounts, coupons, promotional items there. So if you're looking for an upgrade to your computer, you're looking to have some repair done, good idea to check there first and see if there's any promotions going on that might work for you. And of course, as always, subscribe to these videos because uh, we, keep, we keep putting out information for you that hopefully will be helpful. And if uh, you subscribe, you'll be notified. And if, you, if we can get over 500 subscribers, <laughs> then we can start uploading videos of longer than 10 minutes and that will allow us to go a little bit more in depth and providing better information for you. So thank you so much for tuning in.